Hello there folks, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I wanna, what I want to show you guys is how we're going to fix some of these arches. There's two of them that are out of plumb. For us, we did all the wire work around all these arches. You can take a peek around there. Um, I'll, I'll show you something with this arch aid that we have here. This is called arch aid and if done right, you bend it around. And the idea behind this is you put an arch aid on an arch, you pull it out 7 eighths of an inch on a flat and half inch here. You've got room for error if you do it even sloppy, about an eighth of an inch. Now the fellas who did this carpentry work, those guys are, they're just amazing. They're terrific. But when they put all this together, this is off one inch. So this is off one inch and then we have the following over there off one inch that's nothing in order to do this again you have to be you have to be a miter expert and really good with arithmetic to figure all this out so this is a quick fix for us uh, i talked to the contractor the homeowner i said piece of cake what we're going to do is i'm cheating right here i i i went ahead and screwed a corner on that's not an arch aid it's a straight corner that way it gives me a template so i'm going to use some hot mud fill this up and then when i take this arch in here i'm going to take it to about right here i've got if I'm an inch here, I've got to feather in about a half inch because we still have to have the arc as close as possible under the circumstances. But anyway, what I'll do is generally I'll take some mud. Now Jay mixed up this mud here. Uh, it's regular Portland cement. Now it's at a good spreading consistency. Now what I'll generally do is I'll take about, oh, about this much. This will give me both sides. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some luminite. Luminite is an accelerator. Now this accelerator will create in 15 minutes what generally takes about 24 hours. So I put this guy, I mix this in, and I'm going to mix just right here. And there's a lot right there. I want this to set in 15 minutes where it will generally take up again about an, uh, three, four hours because we're only here just for these two little things. If I were here for other things, I'd just scratch it and brown it same day but it would take me like an hour or so we got this covered because this is Santa Barbara any of this goes on there it's going to stick immediately and discolor it so I'm going to go ahead and mix this up it's going to take me about 10 minutes then I'll show you how we put it on there okay guys now what I have is a few minutes of mixing There's good mud here it will set in about 15 20 minutes at most so now you want to pull it from this side over here Jay to get a side view instead of a front view you can see how this one here is flush with this uh, detail so I'm going to put this on here now where it meets the metal here it has a tendency to want to drop when I hit this it's going to absorb through suction and just uh, cure faster so let me get this then I'll hit this corner a little bit more. Now with, with that, I'm going to put a little bit more here because I have to feather in a little bit. No such thing as just putting an extra inch and expect it to not throw the whole radius off. Okay, so I'm going to allow that to sit about, oh, 15 minutes. That should be hard as a rock, then I can throw my next coat on it. Okay guys, here's the second coat, and yes, I do have luminite in this too. The second coat, now I want to just feather in. The further I take it here, the better as far as to hide that little flaw. So. I'll take it right about there. When we're done with it, see, I have to build this corner up too, which is kind of hard. Well, it takes practice. You just go right here and catch it before it drops and just keep doing that. A little bit right here and then pull up that way to build this corner up. I actually, while I was waiting for this to set, did the other side too. We are always doing a couple things at once. So, there we go. And I just keep building this 
piece right here. Take that and pull it upward, to, like so. And now I'm gonna do this other side, which of course you won't be able to see. And when I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, green sponge float, a lot of water on it to feather this in. And I wanna bring the aggregate out here on the corner. I wanna take it up, because I want it to strengthen. If I just take it down, it'll fall right out. And then I come up here. Got to get this corner because it's, um, there's no wire reinforcing it. It's just, a, well, it's just a hand corner. We're doing it by eye, basically. So we get it as best we can. Take that arc here, clean this up down here, pull it inward. If I pull it out, I'll, I'll lose this corner. So we pull it inward. We pull this one inward and reinforce this with a lot of water, which uh, strengthens it. Come around here and the same applies on this side, upward motions. Everything is upward, upward. Otherwise we lose these handmade corners. And there you have it, folks. Uh, this, I barely even have to dash it, but I am gonna throw, because we started off with a dash finish here, it's a, a thrown on finish. I'm gonna throw maybe two or three little scoops on it, and there you have it. That's the way to fix a carpenter boo-boo, so. Okay, guys, last stage, light dash, very, very light. In fact, I wanna take most of the mud off of this dash brush. I'm, all I want is just a tiny bit of dash. There we have it. And we just it's called a light dash, guys. I did a machine dash here to begin with, but we don't need to hook all the accessories up just for this little stuff. Next, we're just gonna clean up here and we're done. All right, guys, we are complete with this. As usual, the easy stuff, just clean up. I always like to stress out to people, especially if I'm just gonna help them out and fix something for them for nothing. There's always a compromise. If we pull this out, then this arc is not gonna match that arc, no matter how far down we go. Anyhow, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching, and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.